It's going to be hard to top last week. It is it is going to mm, it is going to be a mm, little tricky to top last week because I don't Scion think we were of a political dynasty f- around with the bear corpse. We are never going to have something that weird fall into our laps ever again. Listen, RFK is still alive. That's do you know I what he said? You, there is an Encyclopedia Britannica of weird Night. Shit. we don't know about him yet. I'm not kidding. Do you know what he said as soon as the story started taking off? Well, I've got a freezer full no. of roadkill. You have a freezer full. You have so much money, Mr. Kennedy. You have so much you have money. You a freezer full of. And, and I just want to put on top of, he has a freezer full of roadkill. Yeah. But he doesn't believe in vaccines. <laughs> hey, there's some on the side of the road. I'm going to take the helmet fried up. My dad is about so as redneck. He probably has rabies. Potentially. My dad is about as redneck as you could get. And even he would be like, no, we're not. Leave that the <laughs> phone. What's wrong with you? That's dead. It's dead on the side of the road. Leave it alone. Man, I this is what I don't understand. I I how does he how does he get someone? They're dumping millions of dollars in his lap. Why not me? I can be weird. I can fuck up. Why don't I get a million bucks? Nash, you don't even know what a DDoS attack is. <laughs> <laughs> We're on this, the, the Twitter spaces tonight, and it f- up again. Last time Elon did it with uh, DeSantis, it f- f- up. This time he tried to deal with Trump, it f- f- up. And he's like, "Oh, but I've been deep because f- there were too many people." It's a DDoS attack, and I call every single one of even Elon's little babies was like, "Yay, Ryan, it's not that." And then, then like, like twenty minutes later, The Verge runs a story saying, "Yeah, we talk with folks who work at Twitter. It's not a DDoS attack. We don't know what yeah. he's talking about." One of them, they they weren't using punctuation, and I pointed that out, and they were like, "This is an app, not Microsoft Word." And I was like, "Fun fact: Microsoft Word is an app." <laughs> And they were like, no, because it's a dot exe. It's it's app. The the children are are quite dumb now. I, I will have to say. Each week, Catherine, radio dead air audience. Ah, it's loud. Uh goes off in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the fuck is wrong with you? And um this one comes from Florida. And as you, we have video, so let's let's bring up the video because it is. Yeah, uh, let's get it up here. Where is it? OK, yeah, there he is. Um, and we'll send you the story so that you can react to it, because that's kind of the whole point of this. And if you don't do that, then, well, this gets just kind of. I went on one date off OK Cupid with a guy once who like watched a bunch of our episodes and spent half the date criticizing me and saying that I should <laughs> review the stories ahead of time because I wasn't that funny. Good, good way to good way for yes. Then he complained that I was wearing high heels because I was lying about my height. Anyway, I, I believe that was negging. Is that is that how that anyway? From Florida, and here's the video. Where are you coming from? So, uh, body camera footage was released Thursday showing a Florida man jump off a bridge and into the river in an attempt to avoid being arrested. Yep, he's in the water. <laughs> he's in the water. Yep. Can go ahead and drop that ladder? I don't want to open an extension to watch it. What? Sorry. Yeah. Um, I'll show that again because 
just just to show it. Let's get that in the background. Um, body camera footage was released Thursday showing a Florida man jump off a bridge and into the river in an attempt to avoid being arrested. Daytona Police Department said officers spotted a robbery suspect they were searching for walking along the bridge around 7 a.m. There he goes. When officers told the suspect identified as 32 year old Richard Martinovix, Martinovix, I think it's old. Right. 32 years old. I thought um, you said 13, and I was like, that's a hard fucking 13. So hard fucking, th- yeah. No, 32. Um, when they told him okay. he was being de- detained, he jumped the guardrail and plunged into the Halifax River below. Um, this is going to be him, an officer said after Martinovix hit the water. The police department enlisted their uh, enlist, enlisted their marine unit to locate and uh, apprehend Martinovix in the water. So he had already, he was a robbery suspect. They pulled him over. They found him. He was like, "Am I being detained?" And when they said yes, he was like, "Okay," which I think was probably the last thing the cop was expecting. Yeah, but like fun fact, they have boats. They do. Very in places expensive where boats. there's a lot of water, the cops do have boats. And also, fun fact, they do have jurisdiction over that water. It's not like it's, like it's, it's not, not like you like, found. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like, like they have no power off land. It's not like you found that one weird trick that doctors hate. You know, it's 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 they can get you. They will get you. In fact, the thing about making them chase you is. They get irritated, and the last thing you want is don't make them make effort. They get really upset if they have to make effort. Hi, Grady. Yes, I know. Oh, hi, Grady. He's, yeah, he's having thoughts. Hi. Okay. What's wrong? And, like, we're not, we're not saying the cops are, are awesome. They're not. <laughs> nobody wants nobody wants to be dealing with the cops. But if you committed a crime and you've gotten caught, like game over, man. Yeah, running's not gonna help. There are ways to get out of it, to get around it, to get you know, if you want to be a criminal, there are good ways to be a criminal. It, it, you can make a good living that way. You just can't be stupid about it. This is being very stupid about it. You know what this yeah. is called? Admissible in court. Dipshit. Especially like, like once you've clarified that you're being detained, then running is so much worse because now like they'll charge you with resisting arrest for asking why you're being arrested. But now they have you on video literally resisting arrest. Am I being detained? Yes. OK, okay well, I'm going to run now. You made them go get the boat. That's yeah. do you know all the paperwork they have to fill out when they have to go get the boat? They're not happy about that. That's not going to help. Things. They? Whenever any they do fucking anything, they have to fill out paperwork. There's a, I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. the boat is a lot of paper. They don't even know what form the boat is normally. They got to look that shit up. Place like Florida, they have boats patrolling all the time. Ugh. We got to get the fucking boat. I, I see that one paw stretched out, and I know you think you're being very sneaky, Emma. But I'm going to need you to stay on your own keyboard. <laughs> Thank but you. Wait. You're a good man. We've got more video somehow. This is from uh, Canoga Park. Let me bring this up here. And this one's just fucking baffling. Because the more information I got about it, the weirder it gets. Woman who rammed SUV into Canoga Park Taco Restaurant is former employee. Here's the video. There we go. Uh, they, they, we, there's a bunch of cops there. And you'll notice they're just sort of hanging around while she's just ramming the fucking car into the restaurant. Back and smashing up her car. Smashing up the restaurant. A bunch of cops are putting up like ropes and they're like, uh, we'll just we'll just let her work it out. We'll just let her tire herself out. <laughs> like a tantrum or some shit. I mean, what else are they gonna do? 
A woman who police say intentionally smashed her car into a taco restaurant in Canoga Park is a former employee. Rampage happened around 7.30 p.m. Friday at Taco Reyes, a uh, restaurant near uh, Santa Coy Street and Topeka Canyon Boulevard. Bystander video showed the car repeatedly backing up and going forward, destroying everything inside the business. Now, I know this is not it, but the first thing I thought of, and I'm watching the video, the first thing I thought of was that 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 fucking Austin Powers bit with with the little car because it kind of looks like that it kind of looks just trying like to turn around guys she's just trying to turn around that parking lot is so small um police told eyewitness news that officers saw the woman continuously backing into the building uh and saw her ram into it according to the owner's daughter antonia reyes the woman previously worked at the restaurant but it's unclear why she's no longer an employee even though she left four years ago, it wasn't on bad terms. It was on really good terms. Her mom still works for us. She's been working with us maybe eight plus years. So we do have much love for the family. It's an unfortunate situation and it breaks our heart. The woman who was not immediately identified was previously arrested for vandalizing one of the restaurant's catering trucks. Bailey Thompson was working next door at a bar and quickly realized the danger of what was happening. Russia tell her co co customers and coworkers to get out. She was just reversing and slamming into all the different walls, so we share a wall with them. So she started slamming into our wall. Police flagged down. Uh, people flagged down police officers in the area. They surrounded the woman, then fired non-lethal rounds. Were taken into custody. Now facing felony vandalism charges. I jeez, what the fuck happened? Like I was expecting to hear she got fired yesterday. Right, but no, like she left on really good terms four years ago, and her mom still works here. That's the part that's like, that's messing with me. Like if you, I, what happened here? My mom's been gone a long time, but even when my mom's was still around, even as a grown up, I didn't want people having to call my mom's cause I did something. Even when I was growing up. Cause my mom worked this, in shame. Like Van Gogh worked in oils. Cause we were Irish Catholic. Your mom's is just she's, put me in prison. Your mom's is it's Topanga like it's not Topeka it's like Topanga like Topanga from Boys Meets World. Okay, well, regardless, um, she's she's gonna have words with you. You she's gonna have you words just with you. Up her job. You did. Your mom's out well, of work for a while, kid. And, she, and you already fucked up the catering truck, too. What the hell happened? Like, that's why this story completely baffles me. Yeah. I don't get it. I was just. Maybe your she car, was just really trying to turn around. Like your car is out of control. <laughs> your car is so fucked. Your yeah. car is completely fucked. Like that like, is that car is forever a fucked. You fucked a public place. Yeah. You fucked your mom over. You fucked yeah. your own car. That Poor when car. you once when you hit your something with your car once, that's it right there. You need to have it fixed. If you keep doing it, that is the end of the car. Yeah. They're not designed. I know they look all robust and shit, but unlike some car manufacturers run by idiots, most cars have something called a crumple zone, which is made to deform the vehicle and absorb excess energy so you don't absorb it and die. Right. So it doesn't deform your organs. Yeah. Now, listen, back back in the 80s, you could yeah. probably ram one of those cars into something 12 or 15 times because they were all steel and we were all basically driving around in little tanks. Well, maybe you I, could. My first car that... was an Oldsmobile Delta 88 that had been totaled five times before it got to me. Every member of my family had totaled that car before it got <laughs> to me. And then I totaled it and my dad's mechanic, Dr. Frankenstein, brought it back again and it ran for 10 more years. But yeah, you could, but I don't know if you'd be able to fit it in there because every car from back then was the size of Idaho. They were all tanks. Yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 I don't know if you'd be able to fit it inside the restaurant. I just. Yeah. I, 
at some point, what shouldn't she have gone? OK, point made. I'm done. We're we're, we're finished here. I'm, I'm going to go do something else now. OK, that, I feel like that went well. Yeah, you know that what? Went I, well. I could go for a taco. <laughs> We're going Taco Bell, bitch. I mean, this is this is uh, next one is another one of those stories that uh, tends to cross over into my tech Q and A stuff. These days, they have we we call we want people to have something called two factor authentication, and that is when you use a password and some other separate means of identifying yourself. Now, what you should use and what sites should have you use is an authenticator application, something completely separate. But what they have you use, because it's cheaper, is telephone. They 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 ask they call they send you a text message as it, and that's bad. And I'm about to show you why that's bad for this is related why I kept reasons. Dan's phone active for a full year after he died, because I had to make sure I had logged into everything uh, before this... I shut down that phone number. This, I, oh, for fuck's sake. Not only is this going to be why you should use a, an authenticator app, this is also, are you out of your goddamn mind, son? Worst cop I've ever seen, Verizon worker allegedly stalks Efrata police officer wife. Old yeah. strategy, Cotton? What's <laughs> Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, a former Verizon employee is facing charges for allegedly stalking a Lancaster County police officer and his wife. Dominic Graham, 19, 19, of East Earl. There he is. There's, there's a shot of him. There's That's Dominic Graham. Uh, is charged with stalking and harassment following the incident that targeted an Efa Efrata Borough police officer. I think I'm saying that right. Efrata. It looks like Efrata, I think. It's a PH, that's an F, that's a Frada. Um, the victim had previously interacted with Graham on multiple occasions as a police officer, most recently during a traffic stop on July 6th. July 7th, the, the victim is right, his wife received texts from Verizon Wireless that indicated someone was trying to get into the accounts at the Verizon store in Lancaster. The victim called the store and spoke with the manager, who confirmed that Graham had accessed his Verizon account. Again, on July 18th, the victim received text from an unknown number, later found to be Graham, which include the clown emoji, the victim's full name, age, and home address. On July 27th, the victim received another text from Graham with another clown emoji. Graham's employment with Verizon ended on July 30th, according to the affidavit, which I don't get. That should have ended way sooner the first time. Yeah. July like 7th. July 7th. Um... Same day, Graham allegedly once again texted the victim and the victim's wife saying things like worst cop I've ever seen and quote, either resign or get fired soon. Graham was taken into custody on July 30th. His bail was set at $15,000 unsecured. This is why some 19 year old fucking kid can access your phone account and, and get your, they can sell access to your phone account. They can get those SMSs redirected to whoever they want, however they want. These are the people in charge of your phone accounts, everybody. Did it on the 7th, wasn't fired until the 30th. That's quite upsetting, actually. It should. Yes, it, there's my point. My, my point. Yes. It's like, it's, yes. My fucking point. Also, also yeah. this is a good reminder to be fucking nice to service people. <sighs> like you don't gotta you don't gotta like give them a rim job or anything but just be nice well normally when they fuck with you they're smarter than this yeah like it's it's like you know you don't well that's don't. what i'm saying because if they're smarter than this they don't get caught no they don't it's just be uh, nice also, the clown emoji. I hate the fucking clown. There, there are a couple of emojis I, I hate that are just absolutely ruined. The clown emoji and that laugh crying emoji. Nothing says I'm a complete fucking dick bag than those two emojis. See, I, use, I use that laugh crying emoji like a lot. 
don't like do a that. lot. Don't do that. And I'm told it gives you away as being old because now when something's funny, you're supposed to do the little skull that you like died laughing. Yes, because the laugh cry emoji has been usurped by dicks fucks. But it's like my top used emoji, though. Don't. I it's guess also I could switch Elon's to the top one. used emoji. I guess I could switch to like the slanted laugh. Don't crying. use any of them. Don't don't. This, they're, they're they're radioactive. Don't touch them. But then Mom, how Dad, don't touch it. It's laughing. evil. How will That's people it. know that I'm laughing? Colon D. Or, or how will people know that? Because I don't know if dudes worry about this. Women have to worry about this constantly. We have to worry about our tone in text. Like we use a lot of exclamation points so that we don't sound like a bitch. We use a lot of emojis so that we don't sound like a bitch. How will people, I mean, D. I am a bitch, so I guess it doesn't Col matter. Colon capital D, X capital D. You want me to use fucking ASCII? <laughs> was it's good 2024, enough. man. It's vintage. It's fucking vintage. It's retro. It's 2024, and you're talking to me about ASCII? It's fu we said fucking vinyl is cool. Same difference. ASCII. No. ASCII no, is the vinyl no. of computers. Just saying. No, it's not. No. <laughs> uh, we got another one of these guys with a world history site that I do not. This is going to piss you right the fuck off, Tara. I know it is. Um, the fucking audacity. We have very, some things are considered that belong to humanity collectively like artwork that belongs to all of us because we all have, should be able to experience it. It's ours. It's, it's part of our collective heritage as humanity. The fucking gall of this dick, asshole, fuck you. Man under investigation in Spain for pouring water on ancient cave painting to get a sharper photo. What? Spanish authorities are investigating a man who allegedly damaged cave paintings that are thousands of years old by pouring water on them in order to take better photos for social media. Now, I just want everyone to appreciate this. These these paintings, they lasted through the rise and fall of the Roman fucking empire, right? The fucking birth and death of Christ. The, the fucking Spanish French Civil Revol War. Spanish Civil War. The French Revolution. The American Revolution. Our Civil War. World War One and Two. These things have existed. They they have out the 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 the, revol the the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution. These things have been the, the computer revolution. And then your ass showed up with social fucking media. But nothing in this world will survive Instagram. <laughs> God damn it. 39 year old man from Los Villares uh, in southern Spain uploaded photos of the wet paintings to Facebook. The paintings affected uh, are protected under the, co uh, the country's heritage register. The man is under investigation for a crime against historical heritage. Now, here's why the problem it's a problem. The cave paintings were made on limestone, which contains water soluble salts. When water is poured on the paintings, these salts dissolve and then come to the surface when the water evaporates, leaving a crust that causes irreparable damage to the paintings. But he just, he couldn't get his filter right. Couldn't get the contrast. So he, he crystallized them. Yeah, he, he got, well, okay, if, 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 if they're dark, water makes them darker, right? So that'll get the contrast right. And then, you know, he gets the, he gets to post pictures on social media of yeah. things that you can definitely get pictures of. Yeah. If it's a historical site, I promise yeah. you, you are never going to get as good a picture as the people professionally who took the pictures. And you know, he was using, books. you know, he was using his goddamn phone. You know, you yeah. know what better? 
You want better? Get yourself a mirrorless, okay? DL, D, DSLR if you if you can't afford it, but get a mirrorless if you want some better pictures, okay? Get a get, get a get a lens set, all right? I'm like I'm not saying don't take some pictures of things when you're in a cool place. We all do it. If I was in front of the Eiffel Tower, I would take a picture. If I went to Italy, I would take a dorky ass picture of myself holding up the Leaning yeah, Tower so of Pisa happy. because I'm a fucking dork. That's fine. But actually, I've, I, I, and I, I'm probably I just I'm probably good. I, I, I'm, I'm this is going to be held against me at some point. If I ever get to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, I'm going to do that. Only I'm going to do it in the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, and I think that's incredibly funny. And everybody at home is going, OK, dad. But I think it's incredibly like, funny. What's the saying? Like, leave only footprints, take only photos. Like, don't fuck shit up. Right. Like this, this shit, this shit survived centuries, but it couldn't survive your ass with an iPhone. Come on. God damn it. You're, you couldn't just do the thing where you take a selfie pointing to it. Right? So everybody knows you were there. <sighs> I, I just, I don't look, but don't touch. That was, that was the, like from four, I was four. I was, first could understand English, complete sentences. That shit was drilled into me. You leave that shit alone. The fuck? So now, now they're going to have to, I, I get, here's the other thing. I don't understand why, he, what he went through to get that close to them. Because it doesn't seem like he should have been able to. It depends. Because like, so in Ireland, there's Newgrange, which is like the oldest cairn. And it's yeah. like 5,000 years old. And I went when I was 13 before it was a thing, I guess. Like, yeah, I went to Newgrange before it was cool. But it wasn't like a huge tourist site yet. So now like it's it's harder to get in. And uh, on the solstice, the sun shines in and lights up the temple. So it's impossible to get in. But they live stream it. Mm. And there are like you've seen a triskelion, the three spirals. Yeah. That's carved into the wall at Newgrange and it's exposed. They just have a little like velvet rope. So you don't okay. get you don't get within a foot of it. Right. There's a big granite basin. It's out. Just there's a little velvet rope, and that is the universal language for this is as far as you can go. Don't fuck up the prehistoric artifacts. Apparently, that's not good enough. So anymore. it's probably something like that. Like, look, you can view the cave painting. Stay a foot back, you fucking savage. Maybe he doesn't understand velvet. Maybe no one explained velvet to him. <laughs> All right, we got another one. This this is. There's a level of stupidity that you do something and God, you're lucky to be the fuck alive. It's like, how did you walk between the raindrops and survive this stupid shit? You are a miracle. You are proof of the Lord almighty because someone had to intervene for your ass. I know it's a bit dramatic considering the story, but if you, if you take it into account, it's like, how the fuck are you not dead? Because this can't be the first stupid thing you've done in your life. Douglas County woman charged with arson after siphoning gas while smoking. Is that here? Uh, Oregon, Roseburg, Oregon. Oh, because there's a Douglas County, Colorado as yeah. well. Uh, a woman in a bakery van who allegedly lit a cigarette while using a hose to siphon gas out of a U-Haul is charged with second degree arson after at least one and possibly two U-Haul vehicles were destroyed by fire. According to the probable cause affidavit, Jennifer Denise Holmes, 47, who drives a van with, quote, Nana's Sweet Treats written on the side, was arrested on August 3rd. Roseburg police were called to the U-Haul business parking lot on Northeast Stevens Street for a report of a fire. The U-Haul was farmer's market. 
the U-Haul was fully engulfed uh, and the fire had spread to a second van. The drive line burned out, causing the flaming van to roll into a tree. So oh, not so only yeah, well, not only was it on fire, it was on fire in motion. When it rolled, authorities could see a heavily burned gas cap and insulated electrical cord. Security footage shows Holmes' van in the area just before the fire began. Holmes was questioned and admitted to siphoning gas from the U-Haul and lighting a cigarette at the same time, which sparked the fire. Holmes is charged with first-degree criminal, criminal mischief and reckless burning. Seems like there should be more involved there. Yeah. How have you lived to 47 and not understood that gas and smoking are not friends. Well, I guess in a way they are friends. They get along like a house on fire. Yeah. Ah, uh, the fuck Like, I still, I don't know if you do this, but like, I still get out of my car and like touch the roof if I've been using my cell phone to discharge the electric <laughs> electricity so I don't set off a spark and blow myself up. That's I mean, probably I, bullshit. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. It, it, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. It's probably not going to start a fire, but it couldn't hurt. Like if you're, if your phone is, is, is generating that much of a static electricity charge, you probably need a new phone because it's fucked up. But I mean, you know, yeah. it couldn't fucking hurt. <clears throat> number one all right siphoning gas from the u-haul okay that's, that's, i have never siphoned gas but doesn't it involve uh, actual suction with your mouth not unless you're smart enough to get a little little pump you, you can do it with a pump you can even do Clearly it with a little hand pump. not that smart okay point like i had my dad actually had a little hand pump for, for siphoning gasoline, not for stealing it from people, but in case you need to get gasoline out of your tank to, to start the gasoline flowing. Little, little, little hand pump, no electricity involved. It's like little, little plastic thing. But if you're doing it the moron way, you yeah, have you're a mouth it. full of gasoline fumes. Full of gasoline, yeah. That yeah, it's all over your lips. Just vapors. Incendiary into... Right. Now, I don't know who we have to explain this to. And if we do, thank God you're watching because someone should have told you this a long time ago. But the gas itself, the liquid, is not the flammable part. It's the part that's quickly evaporating away from the liquid. Those are the fumes. Those, that's the fuel-air mixture, that's what catches on fire. So if you've got it all over your lips and the cigarettes right there, I don't. how did you not blow up your face, lady? Right, like, how are you not Freddy Krueger right now? How do you someone, not blow your own face off? Someone called in a favor with the head office. God, yeah, somebody's praying for this lady. Really? Like, some yeah. angel literally reached their hand down and covered your dumbass mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Someone lit a candle down at the at the the rectory, and I I don't know. They, they we uh, do do we got who's who do you want to handle this one? Oh fuck, man, Jesus, we got to step in on. Yeah, ah, fuck, damn it. All right, all right, all right. Send send Michael. He's and not because doing anything. of that. Fuck. Jesus wasn't available to save the cave painting. So there you, go. there you go. There you go. Fuck, because the. The luck, like you, this, this is this this is your million dollar lottery ticket just gone. Yeah. This could have been your million. That's, that's it. gone. This this could have been you striking oil in your backyard. That's gone. That's yeah. away forever. You you burned it like, all. You youngins don't know this, but you are you are in your life. You are given like one giant luck token. <laughs> One, I used yeah. it to not die from cancer. You might use it to win the lottery, you know, like, or you might use it to not blow your face off when you're lighting a cigarette and sucking yeah. gasoline through a pipe. Yeah. I wouldn't that's... recommend that one. No. Because that's like an unforced error. 
Well, finally this week, it wouldn't be the Olympics if one of their story, if, if they didn't end up on our damn show somehow. Right up, right under the wire, no less. Did you know there is there there's Olympics for skateboarding? There's it's Olympics. fairly new. And I think if I'm if I went, was there Olympics for breakdancing this year? That was new this year. And I don't think they've approved it for L.A. yet. So it might only be a one Olympic thing. But, you know, and apparently what I'm... one of the chicks that won is like a performance artist from Australia and she was just fucking around and people are very upset. Now. I'm not sure about this. Is there is there an Olympic? Is there a medal for for free, free climbing? Anybody know so. anybody in the channel? There really because um, I'm probably sure this does not qualify. Man arrested after climbing Eiffel Tower hours before Olympics closing ceremony. A shirtless man has been arrested when he spotted cl shirtless spotted climbing the Eiffel Tower in Paris just hours before the Olympics closing ceremony. French authorities were forced to evacuate the, fl the famous landmark this afternoon. It's not clear where the man started the ascent, but he was spotted just above the Olympic rings, just above the first viewing deck. One video posted on Twitter, a shocked eyewitness below the tower can be heard saying, quote, there is a dude climbing the Eiffel Tower. He just passed the blue ring. I don't think he's wearing a shirt. Uh, that is crazy. Let me see if I get the, the, the picture here. Because we, we got a picture. Here he is. Uh, yep, there, there's your dumb ass on the fucking Eiffel fucking tower. They're really into him not having a shirt on. They mention it like four or five times in the article. I guess they're the really concerned. The climber can be heard saying, bloody warm, isn't it? I, I, <laughs> I guess they were concerned about nipple, cha nipple chafing or something. Um, Some were some viewers, uh, visitors were briefly locked onto the second floor of the 1,083 foot high tower. Were allowed to leave after 30 minutes. Um, like, and I want to show you a picture here. This is why it's especially crazy. Th th there's the guy. There he is. He's he's very very pleased with himself. Look at that. First thing I thought when I saw you this guy. Do you remember that haircut? Do you remember Techno Viking? Remember that that meme, the Techno Viking meme. I'll have to play that later because that, that, that's the first vibe I got was techno biking. But here's why this was incredibly stupid. All right. And people are going to give me shit about this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. These are the French police who were out during the Olympics. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are going French police. What? What, what are the French police going to do? And I want to make this clear. Have you seen what the French do whenever anyone in their government pisses them off even a tiny little fucking bit. Like they, they lower the minimum wage by two pennies. The fucking street explodes. Also, have you seen any movie with Jean Reno? <laughs> French cops. Do not fuck with the French cops. They have to put up with the French people. <laughs> Do not fuck with the French people. Like, yes, they have assault rifles. So you, this man could have quite easily ended up. Can I also point out, though, look at the jawline on that cop. I know, right? Damn. Why are you a cop and not on a fucking runway? Look at him. <laughs> it's given blue steel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you could cut a fucking hedge with that jaw. <laughs> wow. Like, like, why the fuck? I mean, just, you know, let's do it and be legends. But this guy's got a fucking assault rifle and he's allowed also, to use it. Yeah. And it's the Olympics. And they're they, they're real careful about that because someone tried to blow them up a few times. But yeah. also someone like there, there's a certain singer who's like the biggest singer in the world who you don't like. And she had to cancel three whole shows in Vienna because someone was going to blow up her shows. So they're you're a little, a little on edge at the moment. 
a little edgy and you decide to start climbing the fucking Eiffel fucking tower on the last day of the fucking Olympics. You are lucky not to be so dead. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Yes, having absent fires the missiles. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the people's perception of the French is just like, you know, when the French are, are happy, they're chill, they're cool with the food. That, like every meal is a fucking event. It's so good. Like the shit we have to we eat here in America would just blow their mind how we subsist this way. They're so cool. But if you piss them off, they add a drop of a fucking hat. They will they 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 are more than prepared to start overturning cars and setting shit on fire. Do not fuck with are, the French. They are also kind of the only reason we actually won the Revolutionary War. Yeah, they they they, they were our big funding and a whole bunch of other stuff. And well, mainly and, they, the and you know why we. You, you know why the they yeah, the, the spite spite. They simply yeah. they, they supported us out of fucking spite for like, England. We don't really like you, but we fucking hate them. That's that. Don't fuck with them. Seriously. Yeah. Anyway, that's the, I guess the first thing we learned this week. Don't fuck with the French. It's not going to end well. You are lucky you're not dead. Yeah. We have learned that gas and fire should not be in the same vicinity of one another for several reasons. We shouldn't reasons. have had to learn that one. We shouldn't. That's like, I figured that one out very early on. Like I was I mean, six. I am the daughter of a firefighter, but I feel like pretty much everybody should know that one. That's pretty rudimentary. I was six. I found my dad's lighter and a can of WD-40. I, I learned things. Like you could burn through screen wire. Dad was not happy about that one. Let me tell you. Um, We've learned that. If things are considered world historical monuments that belong to the collective humanity, all of us, it's part of our culture, it's our shared heritage. Don't fuck with it for Instagram. You, you, you are not. The algorithm is not who you are beholden to, little shithead. And you're not going to get a better picture than already exists. We've learned that if you're going to try to fuck with a cop, maybe don't leave an egregious paper trail of you fucking with the cop. Maybe don't do it like at your job with your login from your job. That shit's just scary. Just a disaffected 19 year old government name. A disaffected 19 year old at fucking Verizon can fuck your world up. Just be aware of that. That's don't use SMS for your two factor. Always use an authenticator app. Don't don't use SMS. You do though. You shouldn't. This is why. I'm pretty this fucking why. That's how it works. Um we've learned that don't fuck up where your mom works. Because she's going to it's your mom. Your mom, it's it's your like, why would you do that? That's like going to and jail way, is, is not the worst part of that. Mom's not gonna help you fix your car. No, no, no. Because you fucked up her job. You fucked up your car fucking up her job. Yeah. And finally, we've learned don't make the cops have to do more work than they want to. It makes them so mad. It really does not help your situation. That's like they they they're already. I mean, Jesus. Also, there is I don't know where you got that whole international waters idea, folks, but that's not really a thing in all circumstances. It's it's you can't just go out in the middle of the ocean and do whatever the fuck you want. Well, also, he jumped into a river, so right. So you got a long swim, bro. You got a long it swim. Even apply. <laughs> you got a long. It's going to take you a while. I'm just saying. Yeah. They got a boat, and you're going to get tired. 
I mean, I guess you could try to swim to like Gitmo, but it's not going to be better there. 